How does a nine-year-old kid make such a difference? A nine-year-old kid who has left us after a 17-month battle with brain cancer. And really what Braxton's greatest attribute was is just that he was just so kind and he was just full of joy. Uh, he never had a bad day. Chris and Brandy Weidman have lost their son. It was 16 months ago after he had a glioblastoma removed when Braxton told me that he was loving his doctors. Very good. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Looking for the best doctor. And... Mm -hmm. They love you, don't they, buddy? Mm -hmm. That was the fall of 2020 when Braxton dug in in the midst of overflowing support from Alabama fans like him. I just want you to know that there are a lot of people out there who love you, who care about you, and I'm one of them. It was a challenge, but the third grader not only dug in, he bought in. He had two brain surgeries. He never cried, not once. He never felt sorry for himself. He never said, Dad, I don't want to go there today. He was stuck for blood hundreds of times. And as Braxton told me in that fall of 2020, he was going to keep on smiling. You're just a happy kid, aren't you? <laughs> Braxton Weidman fought the fight for nearly a year and a half as Chris and Brandy soaked it in. When your boy gets sick like that, there's nothing that you don't watch and you take in. I mean, we watch his jokes, you watch his mannerisms, you watch the, the way you watch him breathe, you watch him sleep. It was Tuesday afternoon when Braxton went to heaven. I asked Chris what the family will miss the most. His silliness. <laughs> he's so funny <laughs> and he's just sweet yeah he's funny <laughs> less than 10 years on earth yet Braxton Weidman has made the family proud I'm proud to be his daddy and I know that Brandy's proud of him too she um she misses him a lot and so too do hundreds if not thousands of people who say their lives are better because Braxton Weidman made a difference. Perhaps we can all strive to be like Brex. Rick Carlin, WVTM 13.